Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde Hardcore Mode. Here we go. We are at 94 points into the web as you can see. Uh, we are expanding things out. We don't have any resources, but we have started to work on the spears down here, which I'm very excited for. I want to really, really pump up my spears. Uh, I'm trying to be as safe as possible. Uh, and we also unlocked some other things like the mines and whatnot. So we are going to be using a lot of stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the mines are pretty fantastic. I am I'm quite the fan. Uh, so again, we will be doing one more hinterland. Actually, we're going to go back to the desert. I'm, I'm going to change on the fly. Uh, I have heard that if you select Vivian and then select Maxine, that might be causing the issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select around, and then I am going to select Maxine from Magnus. Hopefully this does help, uh, and let us see what we want. We two ranks and spear cooldown out of seven. Not a great return. Uh, ice ring, 5% faster. Eh. Dot tick rate, nice. Extra tornado, eh. Three ranks in bone shot cooldown is actually very, very nice, I will say. Mine, 30% cooldown. Now, I don't know if this 30% cooldown was affecting my other run, so I do want to try that out again, uh, unfortunately. I mean, we saw it with the other run. It happens. Um, but, yeah. I just, I, just, I just wasn't sure if that was the case. So let's actually do it. No. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go with a bone. Three ranks and bone shot. We're doing it. It's a good amount of bone shot. We're going back to the Highlands. This will give us more resources, which is why I want to do the Highlands right now. I want to get one more resource run. I want to move into the Dark Forest as well, but I'm a little paranoid of that until I get the spear up a little bit more. Uh, also, you know, finish off some of the other abilities. Uh, I'm playing a little passive. You know, normally I'd be going right off the bat. It's just... Uh, quite difficult. Let us see. If we hit escape, we are Maxine. We have two levels, not three, so it did lie to me. Uh, that's a little bit of a shame. I mean, it makes it equal with the other abilities, unfortunate uh, as it is for us, since, you know, I chose it specifically because it was three, honestly. Uh, I felt that was the, uh, the winner's choice, if you could get three levels instead of two. Uh, but I guess they saw through that. We are zooming around, thankfully. We have our 77 health, so uh, yeah, bit of a trouble there. Uh, our entire goal is to survive, though. I want the bone as a defensive measure for the stronger enemies. Uh, let's get some orbital fire, and I don't know what we're going to do last. I mean, I do love the ice ring. I think it is an amazing, amazing defensive ability, but I don't always want to take it. Uh, but th since this is our first official Maxine run, maybe I should just to have it. Uh, it's good safety. We have our one reroll. Maybe it'll pop up. Yeah, let's let's get it for some safety. Uh, it will be good for us. Uh, again, we have the bone, so that's what we're going to be using to kill those spear gentlemen. Uh, and we do want to actually expand its size as well, because some of the uh, mini bosses do have an ice ring. Or, uh, not an ice ring, but a, uh, a ring around them. And that ring itself is the problem. Uh, we need to be able to hit inside of it to kill the mini-bosses and things. And if, uh, if we can't, uh, it's gonna do a lot of damage to Maxine. Way, way, way a lot of damage. So we do not want Maxine to just die right off the rip. Uh, killing our run right here. Uh, and at any point in time, if the run does get killed, I will zoom back up to get there. Uh, let's get some more damage. Uh, this, again, will be our primary function for the ability. Let's look for maybe a chest or two. Uh, a pet would be lovely. More resources, more good. That also does not hurt at all. Maybe we can get to the point where we can start getting some, you know, uh, some lovely, delicious... Uh, Damage reduction on the web. That would be very nice. I would love to have some damage reduction. Can't argue with that. It's just getting uh, freeze duration, though. I do want the area more than the duration right now. Uh, the duration is important. It is a very nice talent to have. And there are only three levels in it. So maybe I should just take it to get rid of it. But I also want to have some killing potential as well. Uh, number by one would be very nice. But just getting it bigger is what I desire. Let us see. Boop. There we go. Does enough to kill the rats, so that is fantastic. 
Uh, where are we? Do we want more size? Size is good. Again, you only get three of those, but I do want that range, as I said. Uh, not a big fan of a lot of range, but we want to be able to get through any auras now. The auras themselves uh, are just a massive, massive hindrance. Ooh, and we do have our first enemy we have to really worry about. Which are the knights? Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're just not a fan of me. You know, they, they like to throw their sword through the ground. Perfectly fine. We're going to handle them. You know, I'm not I'm not super worried. Uh, and we should have enough range. One more probably wouldn't hurt, but we also need some damage. Uh, and I should get, should have gotten the damage on the spears, honestly. Uh, we are going to need damage on the spears more than other things as well, because that's just our generic, you know, safety damage. Ooh, and there is a... Ooh, don't hit me. Please. Please don't hit me. I'm very, very fragile. I am very paranoid. Uh, I will say a hardcore mode is definitely increasing my paranoia very hard. All right. Well, I need the cooldown more than uh, the damage because the cooldown is damage again. So more bones being thrown out will lead to more damage. Uh, it will allow us to kill the things that we need to kill. And we're just sort of zooming around. I don't want to stand still ever. Uh, because of the uh, ground effects uh, and chargers oh chargers so they begin luckily chargers can be stunned and that is a beautiful beautiful thing let's get that damage on the spear hopefully that will Ooh, see look at that we are in uh, dire straits already surrounded uh, the ice ring is not nearly as large at Ooh, and a moon mummy and a moon mummy Come on, Moon Mummy. Get out of here. Get out. No one likes you, Moon Mummy. No. Okay. Everybody likes you. I mean, you are, uh, I think, unofficially uh, the mascot of this game. So I, I can't say nobody likes you. Uh, I do even like you too, Moon Mummy. But get out of here. You, you cause all sorts of problems for me all the time. You don't get stunned because you're a jerk. Uh, but look at this. We're getting our size up. And that's able to sort of give us the... Uh, the range that we need. Uh, it's one big thing is getting the safety net uh, because once you get surrounded, there aren't that many moves that deal with the surround. And that's why I really like the ice ring. It doesn't do a lot of damage whatsoever, but it does enough to kill these small hordes. And that's a beautiful thing. Uh, I will just say that. Let us get up here. It's not going to kill the vines. The vines don't die to it. Uh, the fairies don't die to it. They might, if you increase the uh, the freeze duration, give you more dots time and things like that. But I'm not super worried about killing them. Just getting them off my back just for that second uh, right now. Again, we are working on our overall kill potential, which is the spears and the uh, spears and the bone. Uh, the orbital fire is there literally as a safety net. You know, if things get close to us, it can get a five damage dot, which is actually pretty valuable. You know, once it gets hit, you know, it'd be nicer if it was just 20 damage instead of a five damage dot. But, you know, I I'm okay with what I got. I'm feeling... Ooh, I'm taking a hit. All right, all right. I was about to say, I'm feeling pretty decent. You know, I haven't taken a hit in a while, and I immediately... It's one of those things, is as you think it, you bring it into existence, you know? Oh, I haven't taken it. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, uh, I think that... I thought that was a rat, and he hit me when he unfroze, but he was supposed to die. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, no, rat... Oh, no, rats no longer die to the freeze because it has been... Because uh, of health increases over the duration. All right. Okay, okay, okay. So that means we do need to get on our freeze duration, because it's no longer handling the hordes. Uh, so it is approximately at the five minute mark when that does hit. We don't have nearly enough money, uh, and that is problematic, but hopefully we will get a whole slew of money here. What else do we want? Again, just range? Eh, I mean, one more range? One more range. Yeah, one more range. Uh... As we can see, with the range now, it's the, the full duration or extent of our uh, current ice ring. So that's a, that's a nice thing to have. Again, this 0.3 seconds, not the fastest in the world, but it is fast enough for me. Uh, plenty of hearts. We did pick up a slew of money there. Let's 
Look at that. Chickens? Okay, chickens still die. Death to chickens. Fantastic. Uh, let us get that duration. This will give us a bit more of a dot. Again, a bit more safety on things that can be frozen, but not killed as well. And that might not seem like much, but half second? I will take a half second of freedom. Uh, versus not. I mean, I I'd rather live than die, so to speak. So... Look at the bone, just going into the eyes, killing them, just like that. We have plenty of money. Uh, what do we want here? Yeah. Uh, we can go with the big double. There we go. Five damage and a damage reduction. Again, the five damage is just really nice for the spears, really nice for the bone. Uh, you know, five out of 38, I think it was at 38. So I'm at 40, uh, 43 now. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Plus, it is five for every spear that comes up. Uh, taking... Oh, and there's a chest. God, this is, this is loaded. <clears throat> loaded entirely. Ooh, and we have a mini-boss. Take off... Uh, a mini-boss that can be frozen. Look at that. You're so cute, mini-boss. There you go. Take the bones. Uh, again, that's why I like the bones. Because the spears can do more damage. But we were able to stand there and make sure our bones hit the target we wanted. Ooh. Flash. Nah, more base damage. More base damage. I actually almost thought about Hardy. And I was like, well, you know. Eh. I want to I, I wanna play to win. Uh, 16 more damage. There we go. That is where we're getting to the point where damage is that much more necessary. Uh, we're collecting all of our lovely resources, and we are slightly trapped heading towards the chest. Uh, again, because we got the uh, duration up as well, uh, we're in a huge benefit where all the small enemies are dying yet again. Uh, and that's what you want to see. You want, obviously, if you have a weapon, you want it to kill things. So, uh, yeah, it's not just freezing. It is doing the actual murder -ization. Uh, I want to actually, if I could, see, this is where cleave would be great, where I could clear, oh, spears might have done it just perfectly right there. I want to get in and see, yeah, get a nice circle of uh, small mobs just so they all just die like that. It's a beautiful thing. Ooh, we can get some more damage on the bone. Yes, 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 please. I don't want an extended final boss fight. I am a little paranoid. So, Maxine... I love Maxine. Again, I love the movement speed. I, I really do enjoy it thoroughly. Uh, the only problem now is a lot of the abilities, like, we got two levels worth of points. Uh, I don't feel that that is a valid, not valid, but worth it upgrade or synergy. Uh, just because of the fact that it's two levels, you know, that it's not like, I mean, Vivian will earn you more than two levels with her synergies. You know, 25% more, or guaranteed. I mean, you're guaranteed on the freeze ring. I mean, you see how many small enemies we kill with that. And yet, you know, Maxine just gets two levels. Now, she does. She is that much faster, but she's that much faster because the detriment is she has so much health. So if she didn't have the health detriment, I would say her synergies being worth uh, less are, are valid. Uh, again, I'm using the term valid. Valid is not the right term. Um... But, to me, fair. It's almost a little unfair how weak a lot of her synergies are. Now, her mind synergy, where it's 30% faster, uh, that it affects its final speed. And that's what's important. You know, having... You know, even having one more tornado, uh, that is at least something that she has that no other character has. She has an extra tornado. I think that's a weaker one. Don't get me wrong. I'd rather have just two levels. Per personally, um, because two levels could be a tornado and something. It's not like I'm maxing out the number of tornadoes uh, anyway. But uh, that being said, you know, that it's really the percent-based ones that I think are her true strength. Uh, and a lot of them have been removed, unfortunately. Uh, like spears. If spears were 20% faster, that'd be amazing. You know, uh, it used to be that way with a lot of her things. Uh, I think spears were 40%, which is nuts. Uh, ooh, and there is a mini-boss. Ah, uh, and you're freezable. Oh, and you got knocked away because of the chest. And we're in trouble. 
All right, let's save our butts. Uh, get a good freeze. Thankfully, thankfully, thankfully. And I want this mini boss frozen. There we go. And get him in the bone. Get him in the bone zone. See? Easy peasy. And then we just stay moving around so we don't get the ground attacks. Uh, and we have a whole slew of little chests here. All right, and we're going to move right into the middle. Ooh, I took a little bit of damage. That's okay. Get the cooldown. Get more pets. Yay, more pets. I don't want to. I don't want to lose all of my like experience and things over here, though. I'm very, I'm very, very, very greedy. Uh, it's one problem with me, especially in this game. Greed is. Ooh, hey, there we go. Let it kill more things when it hits. Its damage is not, you know, a hundred percent the best, but it's it's pretty good damage right now. I am not worried about its damage. I'm more worried about it just hitting things. So cooldown, number, and area for the spears are top priority. Damage is still a priority, just not as much. Um, look at all that juicy experience on the right side, uh, and all of that. But let's see, what do we get? Oh, the, the the big twenty. We're getting the big 20. Slyther level 3, being a big 20. I, I think that is honestly one of my favorite things, is that the third upgrade is monumental comparatively. Uh, it's just such, such a huge improvement. I mean, 20 damage. On, I mean, that's especially... I mean, problematically, we did choose two dot-based abilities, but if you had four abilities, if we had Cleave, if we had Arrow, if we had Grand Hex, if, well, I mean, Grand Hex already does massive amounts of damage. But, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, shurikens, all of those, 20 extra damage to every single move. Huge. And don't get me wrong, for, for Spears, that's one level. For Bone, that's four levels currently. For Arrow, I think Arrow's at 7 damage, so that's 3 levels in Arrow. This pet, uh, I think Spears are at 7 damage too. So if we had that, that's that's essentially almost a dozen levels if you were to get all physical abilities. It's so massive, so incredible, that you know you really can't go wrong with it. So, even late game, you know... It will still be good. Now, again, it does fall off, of course, because what's 20 damage when you're doing 300? You know, it's it's nowhere near the same payoff. But, you know, it's still a proportion. You know, if I was doing 300 damage, an extra 20? Okay, you know, that's 7%. I'll take it. So that's just how I feel. I think the Slyther change makes it very valuable now other pets of course are quote-unquote more valuable i mean don't get me wrong xp pickup always 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 amazing always going to be doing very good things with that um I, but i do think the nerf was pretty substantial i've not gotten the mag slime to level three i'm assuming at level three it is basically a 25 percent 25 percent followed by a 50 percent increase so it does follow the same type of mechanic as slither where the last one is stronger uh and i do like that bonus where it's like hey if you invest in this pet it gets better uh, i would like to see it get slightly better and slightly better and slightly better you know so slither maybe was five seven ten you know, for increases, something like that. Um, or even if it was 3, 7, 10, so it's weaker at the start. But, I, I mean, you, you don't want to weaken it at the start. I, mean, uh, eh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, if, if it weakens me, don't don't believe I'm saying it. I swear, I swear. I'm not trying to ruin anyone's day. Um, but, yeah, I, I do like that progressive increasing. Here is a shot. There we go. What are we getting? Uh, I was just talking about you, Max Slime, but unfortunately, I am going for the blue shards. Uh, I we're at the point of the map, minute and a half left. Yes, it would be nice to pick up a little bit more experience, but again, as the game goes on, would you rather pick up experience or get your meta progression? And we are here for the meta progression. That is why I chose this map. I'll be doing the desert next, uh, just 
to change things up. And then after the next desert, I will probably be going to the cemetery. Uh, cemetery does scare me, though, because of all of the uh, immune mobs. I will not be taking Ice Ring guaranteed on the cemetery. So I'm going to have to see what we're doing. I'm probably going to be taking Mines. Uh, probably going to be taking Bone. Maybe we'll take Shurikens. I don't know yet. We shall have to see. Uh, we're feeling pretty good. Uh, let's see. Is it top or bottom? It's bottom. That's where we want to go. Safety first. Uh, any chests over here? No, 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 no. Use the bone to your advantage. Oh, there's nothing here. I was kind of hoping there'd be something. Oh, there is. We got a chest. Fantastic, fantastic. That is what we want. We're just dip diving, you know, going up and down. Making sure the bone is the thing to hit these hard enemies. Again, we do have the spears doing it as well, which is fantastic. But the bone was the key weapon. Uh, we're down to 20 seconds left, so I need to actually escape and get to a big open area. I just wanted more resources. Uh, is escape worth taking damage? No, but we can weave. Look at that weaving that we were able... Oh, okay, let's, let's just chill here. So if we chill right on the edge, like here, we're still going to get it, uh, but we're going to put the uh, cage around... Oh, yeah, pretty good place. Oh, there was a shop there. Oh, I'm a fool. I should have gone for the shop. I didn't even see it. That's fine. That is fine. All right. Oh, and we have to move our butts because of those enemies. And there we go. Get them in the bone. Doot, doot, doot. You're going to die. That's what we want to see. Oh, I ran into the into the sword. But perfectly fine. Two guys on the left got hung up, which is perfectly fine. I am quite okay with that. We have undone it, though. Much success. Uh, just over a 1,000. 254 more purple crystals, which is fantastic. We are getting to the point where we are getting safer and safer. So we have collect... Oh, I need one more Rocky. Ugh. Oh, that's annoying. What do we have on the other side? So we have more experience, but we need bats. We have CC, which isn't too bad. Uh, this needs heroic, and this needs the cemetery. So we cannot go for cleave level two. We can go for Rupert, which... Eh, and we need oh, 21 more. Okay, so we're going to have to go back to the hinterlands next. I apologize. We need a lot of stuff from the hinterlands. Uh, to, just to expand our map, you know, chest open speed, I want this, but we need Reapers. We need all sorts of stuff, so not really feeling too great about that. Two more dot damage would be quite nice. Banner for the size would be decent, not too bad. A banner, all right, let's get the banner for that. We do want that for the long term. We will probably be taking that in the future. Uh, and let's see, what do we have? Damage plus five, <coughs> cooldown reduction, we want that pretty bad. Uh, but let's actually make our arrow better, because these are cheap, and uh, we might be taking arrow. It's better to have the cheap things out of the way, get its size increase. Oh, and we had enough for the banner increase there, so that is beautiful. So now we're in a much better state with arrow, uh, and you know what? Let's also get both of these, because that will... Ooh, okay, we can't. We can't. I'm a fool. Um, but it's a much better place. Uh, we did get a little bit more damage. That'll be seven when we take it very very nice bone is completed vines you know cooldown reduced by one we will want that a little bit more blue there needed uh, and then we're going to work towards this so next time we will be doing another hinterlands uh because we need our one more rocky because we want to open this up we want to get to down here uh not necessarily that this is important we're only going to be able to use this once we do heroic but i believe this is a damage increase and i believe this is for purple so we do want that as well um, do we want Hoodoo or Mining Speed? Uh, I do love Hoodoo without a doubt. I love Hoodoo. But it is also problematic because we don't really have that many dots that we care about yet. Uh, Orbital Fire is nice. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually go over here, and there is another bone that needs the Shield Skeleton. So we will be going for that. We want this super bad. Um, so that is great to see a new bone on the horizon. Um, yeah, doing pretty good though. I'm, I'm feeling it. 
Uh, more shops. Yeah, let's get more shops and that. Oh, more health. Oh, I should have taken. I should have gone this way first. More health, please. And then Chris will be right here, which doubles all purple crystals gained, which is a nice thing to have, especially while uh, leveling up. However, in the long, long, long term, Rupert is better because Rupert you can still use at the end of the game as coins will be worth more when you don't need purple crystals anymore. And that is not valid. Um, so there we go. Oh, I don't even want to know I left. We're at 105 on the Divinity Web. Not too shabby. We are going further. Could get Grand Hex. I'm wait until we can get Grand Hex level 2, which should be down here, I believe. Um, and yeah, this is, this is currently where we stand. Not too bad. Heroic is still alive and running. So thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please toss a like, comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what I'm missing. All that good stuff, you know. It, it really helps, and I appreciate it. So thank you, have a wonderful day, and happy hunting.